So over the years, I've had people ask me how a micro switch works. And I remember back when I was a kid, I was fascinated with micro switches because they were very small and they're very useful for a lot of things. And you find micro switches in, in all kinds of stuff. Everything from microwaves to TVs, uh, all, all kinds of things that need to be switched on and off. Now, micro switches are relatively low current, but you can use them to actuate uh, relays to where you can almost uh, have a, a, an unlimited amount of current carrying ability depending on the relay that you use. Anyway, this is just your typical micro switch. Uh, if you take a look, this contact right here is your common, so you're always going to have a wire hooked to this, this terminal right here. Then if you look right here, you've got a normally closed. That's what NC is, meaning that if you have a wire hooked here and hooked to the common, it's going to normally be closed when the micro switch is not uh, actuated, when it's just in its relaxed position. And then when you push the plunger, it's going to close this set of contacts, which is the normally open set. So if you put a wire here, it's only going to make contact when you push the, the actuator, which is right here. So I want to pop this thing apart, and we're going to take a look in, uh, inside. Kind of show you, show you how, how it works. So there's the internals, and if you follow the path, and I'm doing this through a camera, so I'm, I'm kind of having to fumble around with it, but here's the common. It's going to go up, and it's going to connect right over here and stay connected, and go. it's going to pass down through this bar. And if you look, the contacts on this bar is already making contact with the normally closed contact right here, or terminal rather. You can see that the normally open is is open. Now I'm going to push the plunger, and it kind of operates on an over center spring. Once it goes to a certain uh, point, the spring quickly actuates it to that position. Then, if you relax it, it'll start going back. Then, once it gets to a certain point, the spring uh, quickly actuates it to that position. And the reason you want that is the slower a switch opens and closes, the more of an arc is sustained by the current wanting to continue to flow. So you want any switch, whether it's a household switch, a micro switch, or any switch, to open and close as fast as possible. So that's the way micro switches are, or that's what they're all about. So I'm just going to slowly push the, the plunger, Then relax it. And if you notice how it gets to that one certain point, then it goes over center and then it just wants to it wants to snap, you know, either open or close, depending on which way you you go with it. Pretty unique design, uh, and a, like I say, very, very handy in a lot of different applications. Micro switches are everywhere, and they're really, really cheap. Um, you can buy a bag of them on Amazon, I think for like 7 or $8, and there's, there's many micro switches, and then there's your standard size micro switches. There's actually multiple different sizes, but the, the most common is this size right here. And then there's there's a size that's a little bit smaller than this one. Then there's bigger ones than this. All of them have their uh, uses. Uh, and obviously, the smaller they get, the less current they're able to, to carry. But like I say, if you're just energizing a relay or a low-current device, you don't need a switch that, that has to be able to handle large amounts of current. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that because I know when I was a kid, I was always interested in how the inside actually worked to get that snap action uh, effect uh, you know and how it trans uh, translated 
from an open open position to a closed position. And uh, so I just happened to have this switch laying around, and I thought, you know, let me let me sh show you know show that. And what happens to these a lot of times is the contacts in here will eventually get carboned up. And uh, if you have one that you can actually snap apart like this, you can get in there with a little file or a piece of sandpaper, and you can polish that carbon back off there and clean those contacts up and make the switch start working again. You know, if you don't have another micro switch to replace it. But like I say, you can buy brand new ones, a bag of them. I mean, they're very, very cheap. A bag of them is 7 or $8 on Amazon uh, for like a bag of 20 or, or 10 or something. So, yeah, get you a bag of these and, and play around with them. They're, uh, they're, they're very neat. Anyway, that's about all I have. You guys have a good day.